All right, guys, today on our continuing beginner coral series top 10, we are at number three. Number three happens to be my personal favorite. It is the mushroom corals. There are several different kinds. They come in pretty much every color imaginable. And kind of like the zoanthids, they are a beginner coral, but they are also an expert slash collector coral. You can find a small baby mushroom for as low as $5. You can also find a big mother bounce mushroom for $2,000 to $2,500. Very wide variety with the mushrooms, but the nice part is they are very easy corals to do. If you're looking for a blue coral, they're blue. Yellow, one of the few corals that you can actually find yellows in, and they're not that expensive. Then you start getting into the bounce mushrooms and the jawbreakers, and that's where the collector market comes in and the prices start to jump. But even the collector ones are easy to take care of. Here is Eli to get a little more in depth with you guys. Thank you for the intro, Ernie. And as he just described, uh, mushroom corals are number three on our top 10 list. Uh, so we're getting towards the end there. Mushrooms tend to be one of the best beginner corals. A lot of the mushrooms that you see at your average LFS are gonna be really easy to take care of, usually grow pretty quickly or at least pretty steadily for most aquarists. And they're really not that picky about water parameters as well. A lot of times your mushroom corals are gonna prefer the lower light and lower flow environment of your tank, so they're really good bottom dwelling coral. Some of them will handle a little bit more light, but keeping them on the bottom, on their own rocks, kind of keeps them from getting all over the place. To that effect, there are some mushrooms that tend to be almost invasive um, in the terms of their growth. A lot of times discosoma mushrooms, especially blue or red ones, may grow very quickly and they leave babies behind very uh, fast and they'll spread over rocks pretty quickly. So with certain mushrooms, you kind of want to keep them on their own island of rocks if you don't want them to end up all over the tank. However, they do tend to be a great space filler if you want something that is going to take up a good amount of real estate very quickly. There are a handful of different genuses of mushroom corals that you run into with the hobby. Generally, discosoma mushrooms tend to be one of the easiest. You also have recordias, which include the Florida recordias, which you see a bunch of here, which come in some of the coolest colors, and they have a lot of neat, um, almost bubbly tentacles to them that just kind of uh, look pretty cool. You also have Yuma mushrooms, which are another type of recordia, which tend to be sometimes more of the pricey mushrooms because they have really neat color patterns and growth forms to them. You also run into Rhodactis mushrooms, which generally look like your typical hairy mushroom or some of these other mushrooms that kind of have a little more frilly appearance. And sometimes these go for a decent amount of money too. A lot of your bounce mushrooms tend to be Rhodactis mushrooms. But for the most part, care for all of these mushroom corals is going to be the same. Most of them want pretty low light, pretty low flow, somewhere toward the bottom of the tank. With most of your uh, soft-bodied corals, you do run the risk of coral warfare in the tank. So running carbon, like we mentioned with most of our leather corals, is important with mushrooms because they do tend to have the same sort of habit where they might uh, release toxins into the tank as they grow. So keeping up on changing out your carbon and your chemical media is a must. There are also a handful of mushrooms out there that do have a potent sting, while not all of them do. Generally, when you get into hairy mushrooms or some discosoma species, and definitely the Yuma mushrooms, uh, these mushrooms do sting other corals and it's a pretty potent sting. So kind of keeping them away from some other corals, especially those types I just mentioned, is important to make sure that they don't um, harm the rest of your corals in your tank. As Ernie described, there is a wide variety of price ranges with these corals. When you're dealing with some of your more average uh, discosomas and stuff, you're looking for very cheap corals that grow pretty quickly, all the way up to your high-end bounce mushrooms, like we have a sun-kissed mushroom here that's a type of redactus shroom. Uh, this is one that Chris has been growing at our farm down the road. Super cool. Once you start getting into the bounce mushrooms or like this mushroom here where they have those neat bubbles in their flesh, um, they generally uh, fetch a higher price um, in the aquarium trade. And just as Ernie described earlier, just about every color under the sun is available in mushrooms, especially if you're looking at uh, like Florida recordias. These tend to come in just about every color, blues, orange, green, yellow, purple, red, and it's just a really cool way to add a good pop to your tank. And overall, uh, the mushroom corals are just gonna be a really rewarding coral for just about any aquarium. They can fit in any mixed reef tank and they're not that difficult to take care of. As always, thank you guys for watching. Let us know in the comment section if you have any sort of questions or requests for future videos. Check us out in store at osachoice.com and keep on reefing.